You know, my friends, it feels pretty good to roll out of bed and know that you're a very rich woman. But hello everyone and welcome back to Mossley Farm, where for some reason in my greenhouse, I happen to have pearls. Pearls that like to give me... <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm very excited about it. <clears throat> I have pearls that like to give me a lot of money and I actually just got 140 thousand gold in one foul swoop last night because uh yeah that we 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 have pearls that grow on cactuses in our greenhouse due to a mod conflict in the update of the beta i'm kind of in love with it i'm just gonna roll with it because i do hope to continue on in this beautiful valley on this particular beautiful farm for a little bit longer but i am aware that because of our mod conflicts we do have some broken things like the fact that the lady with the pig and i are currently in an eternal feud so i cannot talk with the lady with the pig anymore if i attempt to <laughs> then uh she actually she actually crashes the game so in trade-off for some of the things that can never be i kind of like the idea that we we kind of have something oh hey my son was in there rowan there you are come to mommy there you go but in trade-off for some of the things that the mod conflicts do cause i kind of think it's hilarious that i have this greenhouse full full of all sorts of um <laughs> cactuses that give me pearls and make me wealthy so we're just kind of going to leave it as it is for now but i am aware that it is very very cheaty so i apologize if it kind of ruffles your feathers just know that we're just having fun at this point and maybe one day in the future we'll come back we'll come back to the valley and we'll play it straight and safe and we will have rowan inherit the farm and the farm may look a little different because we could choose one of the other types we could send him down all sorts of different paths basically the opposite of what we picked this time and we could see what life could be like that way but for now we're gonna roll with the fun of having pearls that um <laughs> pearls that do that so let's go ahead and grab this quality retaining soil and can i put that into yeah i can cool and then i planted a mixed seed inside in the garden pot so we are going to begin our very own mystery of uh like botany we're going to start our very own sort of botany research um what is the word I'm looking for? Basically, it's going to be a garden of mystery and we will grow these experiments, there we go, inside of the house by using mixed seeds so that I think any of the possible plants in the game might grow from them and we will grow them inside. Oh, and Rowan, do be careful on the stairs, son. So hopefully today we can build more garden pots, which, oh, it doesn't need wood. It needs refined quartz. <gasps> Okay, hopefully we can find that refined quartz. So plenty to do and keep me busy with today. Let's put away this beautiful pine tree. I wanna put one of my experimental plant pots down there. We're gonna go ahead and grab some pancakes. Let's make my family some fresh food. Hash browns! We're making hash browns because yesterday we talked about how we were going to plant a ton of potatoes today. And that is the game plan, planting a ton of potatoes. Also, holy cow, I have a lot of coffee beans in my pockets from going into the greenhouse yesterday. But that's perfect. Leia, my love. I was thinking, life's too short to eat bad food. Luckily, we live in one of the best regions for fresh greens and vegetables. Right, Leia? Oh gosh, and she gave me a salad. Thank you so much, Leia. Here, have a coffee. Oh, I've already given you a gift today. No, I haven't. That's a lie, but you gave me a gift, so I guess the gift to me is a gift to you. Well, that's very sweet of you. All right, let's come up and see. Queen of sauce. Hmm. Stir fry. Oh, that's right. Leia loves stir fry too. Hmm. Maybe I should have made her a stir fry instead of coffee. We'll have to see. All right. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today, so we probably don't want to go mining, but I'm way too busy for that anyway. And back out we go. So back to work. Today, plant pots. Oh, what's this? <gasps> what is this? Oh, this is so cool! I didn't know the wizard would have his very own wizardry stationery. That's really cool. It'd be even better if it had like some <gasps> Junima washi tape. Oh my gosh! If somebody made me Junima washi tape, I think I would just... I, I, I Could I ever even use it? That's amazing. Anyway, greetings, young adept. I have enclosed in this package an item of arcane significance. Use it wisely. From M. Rasmodius, wizard. And he has given me a frozen tear, which I am tempted to go up and give to Sean. So, all right, let's come over. We're, or Shane, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> and we're gonna clear out these trees so that I don't trip on them going in and out of my farm. And we need to look around for any refined quartz that might be lying in wait somewhere. And also clean up the farm today. All right, we've got this. And apparently the encroaching grass did damage to my farm somehow. So we'll have to figure out what was up. All right, and we can put away the acorn, the fiber. Here's a ton of the clay. And then let's see. Uh, there's a ton of rocks, but I need those. So I need clay and rocks and refined quartz. And then I should be able to make my little patch of experimental plants, which would be very cool. I really love using mixed seeds and usually I plant them in the greenhouse, but now they can be right under my eye. The first thing I see in the morning, smiling at me in their little planted pots as I, I dish up some fresh coffee and hash browns for my beloved, beloved, <laughs> my beloved wife, Leia. There we go. My beloved. Leia, my beloved. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's do this. Clear this away. Man, my farm is fighting back with a vengeance. Where did all these rocks come from? I mean, we just had everything nice and tidy a little bit yesterday, and now all of this nonsense. This is amazing. The farm is just not going to... It's not going to ease up on me. I mean, and I guess I can just, like, cut down some of these trees, but geez. All right, we'll take out this guy. Sorry, buddy. You've got some little ones growing in next to you that I might let grow. Uh, here, we'll clear out these two right here. There we go. Have my bats given? Oh, a salmon berry. Thanks, bats. Thank you so much, guys. All right, we're gonna come down and we'll put away. Oh, we can make another iridium ore. Yes, all right. We'll drop down that iridium ore. Got it, got it. We have, what the heck? What the heck? Look at this. The weeds are even encroaching behind my greenhouse where I'm trying to to manage all of this stuff. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. We'll put away that. And the refined quartz. Yes, I can make some more flower beds. I'm so excited. Oh, and there's an iridium sprinkler I could put down somewhere. I think I'll put that iridium sprinkler down worth my flowers and possibly plant more flowers because I would love to have a lot more flowers too. Uh, or... The iridium sprinkler could probably go right here and I could swap it out. There we are so that it can reach a little bit further and kind of water a little bit more. So in fact, let's scooch it over because I think it just has like an additional radius of one. So now it should cover both of these spots and that should do. I can live with that. All right. This is so messy. I don't remember being so messy as as a Stardew Valley, like, expert, which I, I thought I was. It was all a lie. Oh, well, at least I love my home. All right, so today, potatoes and flower pots. And I would actually love to get a flower pot planted in Evelyn's house so that little old lady Evelyn could have some beautiful flowers growing in her home, too. So let's get these jazz seeds down. Maybe I can go visit the wizard. Let's see if that other star fruit managed to grow inside of the greenhouse. And if it did, we can get a Junimo hut built, which would be so exciting. All right, there we go. Okay, I need more. You know what? I don't think you're doing anything in here, buddy, but I probably should leave you. All right, curses. And it doesn't look, unfortunately, like that new star fruit has come up yet. So I probably need to wait a little bit. It's so frustrating to have to wait out the growth of all those star fruits. And we have a ton of ancient fruits. I probably need to... Wait a second! What are all of you doing here? <laughs> no! So many star fruits! To the wizard! We're going to the wizard now! I cannot believe this nonsense. What is happening? Okay. Okay. Hang on. Dropping off these jazz seeds. Did we seriously have that the whole time? Oh my goodness. Ah, and there's truffles everywhere. Truffles, truffles all over the place. Oh my gosh, and there's fruit. Ah! There's so much to do on my farm. <laughs> and look how beautiful the cherry. No! I knocked down the cherries. I did not mean to like to I I want more cherry trees. They are so pretty. I want more cherry trees. I need more room. The bait is going to have to go for now. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love this. These are so beautiful. These are just so beautiful. All right, watch out everybody, watch out. I need to come through and kind of tidy up your area and I definitely need to get you a lot more, <gasps> a lot more grass. Oh my gosh. 
clearly I have more to do than I can handle. All right, off we go. We're gonna go get a whole bunch of potatoes before Pierre closes. We're gonna sell some of the stuff directly to him. We're going to visit with our Rasmodius the wizard because he will hopefully have, it. okay, inventory's full, forget that. He will hopefully let me get a Junimo hut now. I am so excited. I need to see what else I need to take to him because I have forgotten. Whew, and I am a rich woman. Everybody is going to be so curious about how Siri the farmer has managed to come up with so many pearls out of thin air, eh? All right, so first things first, here, you can have my corn. Uh, you can have my mayonnaise. You can take the hot pepper right now. I don't care. I just need a little bit of elbow room if you don't mind. You can even have the sap and the maple. Oh, and these salmon berries. But now we're gonna go ahead and I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to remember. There was like a trick on how you could just like, was it this? Yeah! <laughs> right clicking and now we can just get tons of potatoes. I just want tons of potatoes. So we literally got tons of potatoes just then. And I want a whole bunch of tulip bulbs. There we go. And a ton of grass starters. This is gonna be kind of terrible on my budget, but I don't I don't need to worry about that because I now have a ton of pearls. Uh, so I really don't, truly don't need to worry about that. A hundred grass starters. Pierre, I just paid for an extension to your home if you so wish, sir. I am going to just generously decide to get a whole bunch more kale because my wife happens to like kale. Look at me, we're rolling in the money. Rolling in the money. I don't want to brag about it, Jody. Ahem. I wish I could spend more time outside, but there's so much work to do. That's kind of funny because I have the opposite problem. I need to sort everything, I need to organize things, and I don't have the time because there is so much work to do. Evelyn, hey, how are you? I've been working on the town flower beds for weeks, so don't step on them. Oh, I won't, Evelyn. I can't wait to put a flower bed in her house. I think she'd really enjoy that. All right, Rosestone, stay here. I'm gonna stop in, visit Krobus really quickly. Whew. There's so much to do. <laughs> All right, Krovis, how are you doing, buddy? All right, do you have anything? A magnet, the monster fireplace. <gasps> Krovis, a few more pearl harvest and I might finally be ready for that return scepter, my friend. That would be amazing. All right, so let's head out. What am I even gonna do? Plant potatoes today, just, I'm gonna plant potatoes. I gotta just start where I can. So I think that other than having the star fruit, we might need like some other materials. So let's go, I guess we'll, oh look. And there's another spot where I could mine if I had my little like panning thing. Oh, and Elliot's feeling morose today. I'm sorry to hear that, Elliot. Maybe you need a good coffee. This is for me, marvelous. Oh, he likes coffee. Well, that's nice. All right, and off we go, Rose Stone. So let's see, there's Emily. And I haven't had any more events with anybody else. Maybe it's worth it to pop inside. Nope, nothing going on in here. Oh, maybe we can pop into Marnie's and see. Oh, 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 kids. Oh, what's happening? Hiya, Miss Siri. It's Mrs. now. It's uh, Sprong Onion. Mom told me, uh, Mom sends me out to pick these sometimes. They're too spicy for me. Nobody likes the onions of friendship. You're a really, you're really nice for a grown-up, so I'm gonna tell you a secret. Aww, really, Vincent? I like how the onion's dancing. What? Okay. When you see it like this, it looks good, right? Okay, you know, I can really get behind plants being awesome. But if you peel it a little bit. Oh, gross! <laughs> it's full of bugs. Vincent, what? Thanks. Cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, what do you do with the bugs, Vincent? Usually I just squash them. No, Vincent! You shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. You should just let them go. That's horrible. No, 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 no. Oh, Jazz. Miss Siri, please put the bugs back in the grass so they can live in peace. 
I'm completely behind. Oh, I'm completely. Hey, I will too put them in the grass so they can live in peace. You learned how to clean the spring onion without harming any bugs. Oh, that's so cute. Spring onions are now worth five times the gold. What? <laughs> that is so cute. Just as I was wondering if we would run into any new events. Oh, my heart. A plus. Hey, Mayor, how you doing? Can you smell that? I've been catching hints of fresh crab all day. <laughs> I wonder if that crab thing is going to have a bigger fallout than I think. Uh, since everybody has been talking about those crabs. Oh, look at this. One is green and one is yellow. What does the green one mean? Gosh, I'm really curious now. All right. Here's another horseradish. I know I need to visit the wizard, but I mean, what does it mean that there was a green... A little green icon. I, I have to know. I'm a very curious person. Alright, so let's see. Is it going to show up? I mean, now it just looks like normal ones. But I mean, you guys saw it too, didn't you? It was green. Was it leading me to the spring onion of friendship? Yay, spring onions! I guess now I can try selling them. Oh, look, it's the noodle doodle worms! What are you doing over here, buddy? Why are you hiding in the grass? I have never seen noodle doodles in the grass before, but it's just rocks. Huh. And then there's a beautiful dandelion that I wouldn't mind collecting. A few more spring onions. That's so curious. Maybe it was just telling me that there were some spring onions over here. Hmm. It'd be really cool if the forging thing had a little bit more meaning now, and I can't pick that dandelion, unfortunately. But it would be really cool if the forging ability maybe, like... I've never noticed that before. Like, two color arrows. Huh. Well, Rosestone, these are the kinds of subtle observations that we actually have to give everything now that we're in a whole new world. So let's keep riding. All right. Oh, no, I missed the wizard's house. <laughs> Come along, Rosestone. We have to go see what else it is going to take for us to be able to get these Junimo huts built. Rasmodius, how are you doing today? It takes years of study to understand the language of the elementals. Yes, thank you. All right, and then what's going on here? Okay, fiber. Okay, so I need the stone, the fiber. That's all I'm missing. Got it. Okay, I'll be back. I will be back, Rasmodius. Uh, all right, so let's go get the fiber from our house. And then maybe tonight, <laughs> it may be stretching it, but let's run over there. Let's see if we can get the Junimo hut built. I'm not even really sure where I would want it yet. So maybe it's a good thing to try to get it built before I end up planting all of the wonderful potatoes. But that's a good question. I mean, I have dinosaurs and deer and rabbits roaming around my yard. So if I have a little Junimo roaming around too, would this be a good spot for them? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would that be a good spot for them so that we were able to put them down? Uh, and even, do I even have 100 fiber? I really hope I do. Let's see. Oh yeah, I have 100 fiber. That's no problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, that won't be a problem whatsoever, my friends. So let me go ahead and put down a couple things. I'm going to put the truffles in the basement so I have a little bit more wiggle room. In fact, I should probably go ahead and put in some of the things I've collected. I don't think you can cook spring onions, but I'll put them in my wild chest in the basement actually. Uh, and I definitely need to leave all of the fruit here because you never know when you might need some of that good fruit. So I'm gonna leave that there. And the truffles go in the basement. So let's run on down. <gasps> Holy ancient fruit wine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh dearie me. I need more oil makers because I have so many truffles now and I, I want more truffles and I need to take all of this ancient fruit wine. I mean, ideally you would want to actually go ahead and now I need to grab the ancient fruits while I'm at it and start churning that wine immediately. Oh my gosh. Look at all of this. I'm making ancient fruit juice left and right. There we go. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Now that I'm into pearl production, I honestly don't need to worry about any kind of income whatsoever. But we're going to sell this ancient fruit today. So my goodness, it is like one really amazing opportunity after another right now. There's my mushroom chest. I knew I had a bunch of mushrooms hidden away somewhere. And then I'll drop off my good forging material down into the forging chest. So I've got a bunch of spring onions. Uh, and then over here, I can put the wild horseradishes and the truffles. Oh, I should have left the truffles down there. Oh, well, I'll put them in here for now. Uh, and then, of course, we have the cursed items that I know are probably pretty safe to go ahead and just sell. Uh, and I have one iridium bar that I'm just carting around like nobody's business. Oh my gosh, what a busy time. All right, so let's go back to the wizard. And I do think I want to try to get the Junimo hut built before I start getting into some of the other things. But let me sell all of this ancient fruit wine, <laughs> which I'm sure is totally fine. And then I'm just going to empty out my inventory really quickly of some other things like the maple syrup, uh, the ice cream. We'll just keep one little section of food. The Oh, and I p forgot to put the apricots inside. Sorry, guys. I know you're probably like, oh, but it's so easy and so obvious how you need to organize everything. But it can be very difficult to decide, okay? Also, I should probably go ahead. Now is the moment, my friends. Dang it. Now, no, Ro Rose, don't scooch over. Now is the moment I'm going to take apart this beautiful pumpkin. And we are going to have the pumpkin transform itself. Goodbye, pumpkin. Oh, I'm going to miss you. We're going to have the pumpkin transform itself into a little Junimo hut. And I do think having it maybe over here would be a good idea. It would be a great location close to my home. I could think about putting in a whole bunch of really cute uh, flowers, a whole bunch of great grass back there. Such a pity if I talk with the lady with the pig, then everything explodes in my face. But uh, I'm just going to pretend I have a feud with her right now. All right, wiggling down, wiggling down, wiggling up, wiggling up. There we go. Knock, knock. All right, Rosmodius, now's the time. Summon forth a Junimo hut. They will harvest the crops around the hut for you. I am so excited. So we do probably want to put them near my home. Oh, it's so much smaller than I thought it was going to be. Oh, where should I put it? Oh my gosh. I guess over here would be good and they can help me out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we can surround it with like little flowers. Oh, that'd be so cute. Um, um, should I put it in the middle of the field? I wonder if you can move it. Let's put it over here for now. <gasps> it's so cute. And I also have a great texture override for it so that it will match each of the seasons. Erasmodius, thank you. To actually speak their language requires a lifetime of devoted effort. <gasps> I actually have the Junimo hut now. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. As soon as I grow another large crop, I can get another one too. Onward we go, Rose Stone. This is thrilling news. Now we need to go home and we need to plant tons and tons of potatoes. It is another one of these late nights. It's a good thing that Leia is now sharing her coffee with me. All right. Oh, fireflies. Gosh, <laughs> I've missed being in the valley so much. And my goodness, my home needs so much attention. But after the, the spring planting, I'm sure there'll be a little bit more time to take care of details like that. All right, rose stone over here. And I'm going to come through and we're going to potato it. All right. Potato, 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 potato. So many potatoes, rose stone. Nobody's even going to be able to cope with all of the potatoes we're putting down. All right. I'm gonna put, nope, 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 nope. Don't you dare harm that freshly planted potato. All right. There we go. And we'll have to come in here. And thank goodness, because I also think having <laughs> having the crops properly planted will also prevent it from like getting completely full of sticks and rocks and weeds and everything else that was filling up the corners. Ah, this is nice. Just planting potatoes into the night on my farm, imagining... I guess maybe I can counter that that terribly sad crab addiction that everybody seems to be having right now by offering them some delicious poutine. I have never even had poutine. Uh, they do make vegan poutine. There's actually a place in town 
that specializes here in vegan poutine. And one day I may try it, but I have not tried it yet. So if you guys are into poutine, do let me know. Uh, but see, I could I could counter Gus and, and his eating of the crabs by making delicious poutine for all of Stardew. Stardew Valley and Pelican Town. And then maybe, maybe the crabs could just live in peace. All right, almost there. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. All right, so that's all of the potatoes. I now need to go to bed ASAP. I can get a little bit of kale planted right now in these empty spots really quickly. Oh my gosh, I'm really pushing it. I really need to harvest that honey too. Roastone, you're kind of blocking, you're blocking my mojo here, my love. All right, come on, go, 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 go. Okay, there we go, there we go, okay. And, oops, nope, 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 water the other direction, little Siri. All right, there's that, and there's that, and that's probably, oh, wait, 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 there's some empty spots. Okay, there, all right. Ah, oh, Rosedown, you blocked, you blocked a potato. All right, I think I got it. We're, we're getting there. It's still a mess. Oh, no, it's two. Run for it. No, Rosedown, no, no, right in front of my own home. <laughs> I pushed it too hard. All right, guys. Well, another wonderful day because my ancient fruit wine came in. So all of a sudden, we're rolling in the riches. I guess Grandpa was right, and we didn't need that statue of perfection after all. But all right, I will see you guys for more adventures and discoveries of what is new in Stardew Valley next time. Bye-bye.